Hey guys, I have wanted to do this video for over a year and here I finally am. Today I want to talk about how I read and study my Bible and I want to talk about some of my favorite um, like Bible tools as well. So the main Bible that I've been using for the last year is this CSB um, journaling Bible. I think they actually call it the note-taking Bible. So it is Christian Standard Bible version and then it's the journaling Bible so there is lines and room for notes on the inside. Um, I quite like this Bible. Um, it doesn't have any kind of like study notes or anything. I wish the pages were white instead of cream. Um, and my cover is, I think it's called like the floral cloth overboard or something like that. Um, I like how it looks. I just, I thought it would be more textured because they have like texturing that they've added in like post-processing. I thought that would actually be like bumpy and it's not really. Um, so it, it still looks cool, but it doesn't feel like I thought it would. It's very shallow. Um, but this is like the main Bible I've been using for the last year while I've been studying my Bible. And then my other favorite Bible is the ESV Study Bible. So I have this one that is in cloth overboard. Um, I think that they... I'm not sure if they still publish this one or not. Um, it is a personal size one, so it's smaller than a lot of them. Uh, Jared has a bit of a bigger one and his is exactly the same on the inside but his font size is bigger than mine and I like small font anyway so this works for me. It has tons of study notes and um, information. I actually really love this bible and if I could like also take notes in here I would probably just like exclusively read this one. Um, but so I kind of like use both. Um, I have different ones for different things and like different ones for different seasons. So I, I like the combination of both of them. And then as far as like pens and things go, um, if you guys like to save money, you're gonna like this part because um, I just, I made this clay mug one time with my daughter at a, um, a pottery class thing, I don't even know. Uh, so my favorite highlighters are these studio ones. You guys, these are the cheapest highlighters. I just find them from Dollarama. Um, they do not bleed through my pages. I really love like more the more muted uh, colors of these Stabilo ones, but they bleed. And also the tips have broken off of a number of mine. So we go for brighter colors uh, because they don't bleed. And then I just use a regular old ballpoint pen. This is from Papermate. I can buy like 20 of them for like a dollar or something like that. And that is what I use in my Bible. I also um, have these, what are these? Cello. Uh, I'm not sure. These are just also like colored pens that I've gotten from the dollar store. So go to the dollar store, grab some pens. I have a spot in the back of my Bible where I test out to see if things have bled. Um, I'm still looking for a good like pastel-y highlighter that doesn't bleed, but these have been my like examples and I think this one and possibly this one. Yeah, these two are the same ones. These are the studio ones. Um, because I went through a whole pack and they dried out and they are the only ones that didn't bleed through. You can see there, there's some like bleeding through on the other ones, but not the, not the super cheap ones. Okay, so in my mind there is, for me, there are two different ways to like read the Bible. Like so, I find reading the Bible is different than studying the Bible. So let's talk about reading the Bible for a bit. Reading the Bible for me is mostly just like reading it through. Like if I need to like stop on something and like ponder it or look something up, that's fine. But kind of like my purpose is to just read the Bible. Um, it took me until I was 33 years old before I read the Bible from Genesis through to Revelation. Um, I had tried the read a Bible in a year plans time and time again and always fell off the wagon, usually like Leviticus numbers, you know, like very early on. Um, and it wasn't until I was 33, I was at a Bible study thing one time and I heard someone saying this was in October. I remember them saying oh yeah they're reading the Bible in 90 days so they'll be done at the end of the year and for some reason this girl who had never read the Bible through before was like I can do that I'm gonna do that and they had already been doing this plan for like a week or two and I decided to like catch up so I read the Bible from like the middle of October till the end of December and for the first time in my life I read the Bible through and I know some people won't like that for some people that will be too fast, some people love the Bible in a year, that's fine. But it took me until that point to realize, like, how do I read books? I have a whole channel where I read a ton of books. I like to read books fast. It, like, makes things stick, that's just the way my mind works. 
So when I do a Bible reading plan now, I either do it in like 60 to 90 days, I read the entire Bible through. I have um, reading plans, like printable reading plans for both a 60 day and a 90 day read through that are on my blog. I will leave them linked below because I know this will work for some people because it worked better for me. So when I'm reading the Bible, obviously if I'm reading like 15 to 20 chapters, depending if I'm doing um, 90 days or 60 days, I'm not going to be like studying a lot, like stopping and pausing and reading other things. So for me, reading the Bible through is something different. So I have now tried to do that every year. Um, since I did it the first time, I have read it that way twice and then I did do a Bible in a year. I actually succeeded. Um, but I still prefer the shorter time frame. And the next time I plan on reading the Bible um, in 60 to 90 days, I plan on doing it chronologically. So I'm excited to see kind of like what different things, uh, like, I don't know, kind of stick out to me on that read through. So that is how I read my Bible. Now we're going to talk about how I study my Bible because that is very different. So when I study my Bible, I will usually pick a book. Um, after I read through the Bible in 60 days, I finished in February and then I did a few different things. Uh, over the last little while, I've been kind of reading Paul's letters and then I recently finished those and just kind of kept going with the rest of the New Testament. Um, but I like to like kind of sit in a book. I don't choose to like read a chapter a day. I don't choose to read like a section a day. I just like start reading and whenever something like jumps out at me, I feel like there's something I need to look up, something I need to write down, I stop and I do that. So that is where this Bible has come in handy. So let's just find a book that I have studied recently. The one thing that I don't necessarily like so much about the journaling Bible is that I definitely will tend to like study the New Testament more than Old Testament. So once my New Testament is all filled up, it's a little harder. Like I've been, I recently studied James again, which is the second time since I've had this Bible. So I actually printed out the book of James um, with a printer and was like highlighting and taking notes that way. Okay, so here's my Ephesians, for instance. Um, so I will just like start reading and whenever there's something that sticks out at me, um, it's that's when I need to stop. So I'm going to like get a different position here to show you um, what it is that I all write down, um, like color coordinating, all the things that I do. Okay, so I have the book of First Timothy here. Um, this is one that I've like studied more recently, so I wanted to kind of show you how I've been doing it lately. Um, so after I have read the entire book, I try to pick up one word that sticks out for me from the book. Like it, it may or may not be the main theme, but it's something that stuck out to me that that time that read through, and I've been writing it on the top. So for this read through, pursue was the word that stuck out to me. To me. Um, so one thing that I do on my first time, normally what I do is I read the chapter first, then I go in and as I'm reading it through the first time, I underline all the mentions of like God, Christ, Lord. Anytime it says that, I underline it. Lately it's been in like an orange color. Um, the reason I do this is just like a reminder that like the Bible's not about me. It is about Christ and what God has done for us. So that is why my first read through, I do that. I'm not making any other notes. So just any time I see his name mentioned, I underline it. Um, then my next read through, I do a variety of different things. I just kind of read until something sticks out at me. There's a note I want to take. I will often use the Blue Letter Bible app to um, like look some things up if I need. Sometimes I'm just doing this on my own and it's whatever, whatever I think of that jumps out, whatever. Um, so whenever something pops out that I want to write something about, I highlight it. My highlighting for the most part, never has any like rhyme or reason. Um, pink doesn't mean anything in particular, so I just highlight it, draw an arrow, and then the note beside the arrow is applicable to there. Um, same thing, I just keep going. Um, I often too will underline when a word is like a, a but, an as, a now, um, something that kind of separates it, shows you that like because of this, this happens, or it's moving on to a different, um, a different part of the text or something. Um, sometimes I will, you know, write down definitions. Here I've got definitions for petition, prayers, intercessions, thanksgiving. Um, I write that down. And so it's different every time. Like anytime you read the Bible, something different is going to jump out at you. And so sometimes like I find lots, sometimes, you know, a verse will stick out to me and the next time that verse doesn't stick out to me, but a different one does. Um, so I just write it down. The pink pen that I was using here, I realized like a week after I started using it that, or this is the purple, that it bleeds through. So like, I 
probably shouldn't use that one. Um, but the orange, I haven't had any problems with. And I don't know if the pink was bleeding through as well. No, nope, not so much. It's just the purple. It bleeds through and looks pink on the other side. Uh, but I don't know if I really care about that too much. It's just, I don't know, showing that this Bible has been used, I guess. Um, so this is a look at Timothy. And then, uh, like, when I went to 2 Timothy, the thing that stuck out to me was poured out. So this one, I followed, like, the same general um, outline. There's been some times where, uh, let's see here. Sometimes I just take, like, one highlighter and use that when I'm reading through. For instance, for Galatians, I just decided to use purple. So uh, that's what I did for that. Oh, and there was one blue, but I think that was something from a different time. I kind of like the idea of, like, using one color when you read through it one time and then like writing like showing that highlighter color and writing the date that you did it and then using a different color the next time i think that's really cool too i mean there's no right or wrong way to do this as long as you're getting out what it actually says instead of like making up your own ideas when it comes to psalms what i like to do is i still highlight or circle um, any mention of lord god um, and then i like to underline different words that are some kind of example of what God is. So he's the rock of refuge. He's the mountain fortress. Um, he has redeemed us. He is faithful. Uh, he is gracious. And I, I like doing that and then using those also as prayers, um, like in my prayer journey. So that's something I do. So yeah, I mean, it depends on like the day exactly how I'm going to underline and highlight things and what's going to stick out at me, out to me. Um, but I've been really liking this format. I'm not a beautiful, like, um, artist. I don't draw things. I wish I could. Like, I love that. I, I really wish I had that talent. I don't. So I just, uh, highlight things and write down different notes and write down what God is teaching me at the moment. And, um, I have really loved this format of studying my Bible. But like I said, now I'm pretty much done the New Testament. Not quite, but pretty much. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do in the future as far as this goes. Um, I may choose to, you know, eventually get a different journaling Bible, just print out pages like I said. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but so far I have been liking this um, over the last year that I've been doing this. I would love it if you would leave a comment and tell me how you study your Bible, some of your favorite uh, resources and tools, and thanks for watching again guys.